Hello guys, Gaming Limey here and welcome your faces and fingers back to another episode of Better Than Venga. This is episode number 74 um, and I've played quite a bit since yesterday, or quite a bit, I say a lot. Um, as you guys know in the last episode I think we beat the the Arsene Wenger's undefeated uh, record of 59 games um, and that was up here somewhere against Reading I can't even find it but it's there somewhere since then we have continued winning and we are undefeated look at all this green here by the way we are absolutely running away with it we we won the Carabao Cup against Chelsea um, we're in the Champions League quarterfinals today we will be playing Manchester United in the Premier League which is actually a title decider um, I'm not too worried about winning it, but uh, because we're so far ahead anyway, um, as you can see, we're on 83 points, yet to lose a game. We've only tied five games, um, 126. And we face Manchester United, who are in fourth. They're a long way away from us. Um, we should win. That would be fine. That would be great. Um, and then we take on Liverpool in the second leg of the Champions League uh, quarter final where we actually just beat them 5 0 um, and we were dominant in that game. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to be saying as uh, all this off camera that he's cheated and he's reset the game and all this, and you can take it as much as you want, but I haven't. I don't cheat with. Um, with championship uh, football manager I never have um, I do have the editor up there but that's because I forgot to turn it off on this save um, I've used the editor on other saves that are offline and uh, don't really have any not interest but I was just messing around and things like that and I actually just forgot to turn it off again you can take this with a, a grain of salt or whatever you want to do um, but I know what I've done and it's been a great season. Um, the only problem is, is we are undefeated. We could go the whole Premier League season without losing a game. Um, this being said, we play Manchester United right now and we'll probably lose the game, um, which will be very disappointing and it will be, um, it will show me off to be maybe a bit of a liar, but we'll see what happens. Um, we've been playing some fantastic football. Uh, we have we have injuries. Um, actually, you don't know. I think you guys didn't see January. So what I will do is go to the transfers and just go to transfer history. Um, in January, we signed two players. We signed Kyle Walker from um, Man City for ten million pound. But that was because if you look here, um, our backup right back. So we've got Hector Bellerin, our backup right back of uh, Bastos. He got a leg injury, a broken leg. So it was the worst injury. And he's been out for the whole season. He's got about six weeks. He's been out for three months here. Look, you can see that. I think he's. it feels like he's been out longer than that. Um, but yeah, so we had to really replace him. And Kyle Walker was actually on the transfer list. And... He's um, 31 years old, so he's not going to get any better. But for a backup right back, and he's English as well, um, he goes to our English quota. And I thought that was a decent uh, signing. Uh, speaking of English quotas, Leicester right now are bottom or close to the bottom. Yeah, they're 17th in the Premier League. Um, they have been down here Um for most of the season and in January we needed a new left back because again Bastos was our backup backup left mid uh, left back sorry and Ben Chinwell Chinwell Chilwell comes in for uh, 17 million he's 25 um, I don't think this was a bad deal to be honest 15 and a half million he hasn't really played a lot but he's played well in the games that we've played him um, also, Patrick Catrone has become our leading goal scorer this season, which is great news because um, 
Lacazette's not really performing. Um, we tried to get rid of Aubameyang. He's um, 100% trying to get rid of him. Uh, he's 32 now. He's played a few times for us. Like nine substitute appearances is not really anything good. Um, he's valued at 20 million, but no one wants to buy him. Um, but the 20 million isn't really the issue. I don't really care what I get for him. It's this wage bill: 230,000 pound per week for a player that's not doing anything for me. He needs to go and we'll be moving on in the summer. Um, we're trying to get some of our youngsters in, and there's going to be a long intro before we get to the game. I'm sorry, guys, it's going to be a long episode, but um, there's lots to catch up on. Um, we're trying to get some of our youngsters in. Lewis Cook, as you know, we bought in in the summer um, for a lot of money, and he was a, a bit of a panic buy, but he's starting to become fairly decent, and he's starting to knock on the door where, where we need to play him. He started his first... Um, he got his first England cap the other week. He actually scored in that game as well. He's got two caps for England now. Um, becoming a decent midfielder. And the same with uh, Matt O'Reilly as well. We know that we bought him in, uh, what, five years ago now? Five seasons? One of our first signings he was. Um, we let him go back to Fulham on loan for the rest of that season. Six and a half million pounds. He is now... What is he? 21 years old. He's coming up to that. He got his first cap for England. He's 30, 33 and a half million now. He's becoming the one, one of the ones that are knocking on the door as well. Um, and then another injury to who did we have an injury to? Uh, one of our centre backs, De Vry. Sorry, De Vry has been out for quite a while. Um, and our youngster Ben Benavidez, our 20-year-old Argentinian um, international, has come in and just cemented a spot in the in the in the team. Um, Arthur is now wanted again, this time by Real Madrid. Um, he's had his best season for us this season. Uh, 27 appearances, five goals. It's the most goals he scored. Uh, assists a little bit low, but a 7.58. Um, definitely, definitely good. So yeah, we're around about 60 games. Let's get into this. We're, we're 64, 65, 66, somewhere around there. Games in the Premier League undefeated. Um, we are undefeated for this whole season so far. If we win this game, uh, we will become Premier League champions. So we will win the Premier League at Old Trafford, which I believe we did... Was that out? No, that wasn't our undefeated season. We have won the league at Old Trafford before, uh, where Sylvain Wiltord got the winning goal, I believe, um, with that celebration with him holding his hand up and Carnu jumping over the top of him. I seem to remember that. That that was at Old Trafford, and that was a, a Premier League winning, winning team. Um, all that being said, I can see us losing this game, which which will not be good because, like I said, um, it doesn't really make any difference to the season because we're 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 90% of the way there. We've won so many games. We're so far ahead um, that we've only got, what, f uh, six games left, seven games left of the season. I don't think our season will go that badly. Um, we are... In the FA Cup semi-final, we've got Preston, who knocked out Tottenham, I think. Um, Preston are in the championship. I don't know what's happening with them, but on paper, that's a winnable game. Um, so we could have another uh, treble situation. Sorry about that, guys. My doorbell went. Um, yeah, we. I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, we could have a another treble winning or potential winning season. Um, where last season we won. That's a great save by De Gea, by the way. Uh, the same as last season where we made the final of the Champions League. We made the final of the FA Cup. And there is Miguel Ben Avia Benavides. He has been. Since he's come in, I, he, he's difficult because 
the Vry is now what 30 years old and since the Vry has been out injured he's a Benavidez Benavidez has been absolutely phenomenal um and I kind of think I kind of feel like I have to play him um which is a shame for the Vry because he is I think he was my very first signing in this save and um as a penalty Anthony Martial as well by the way I know there was some comments especially on my Twitter actually um, when two seasons ago in January I signed Anthony Martial um, and ever since I've I let uh, Freusberg go to West Ham Martial's come in and he's been absolutely fantastic and as you can see in the top there he's this 22nd goal of the season for Anthony Martial 45 million pounds from Manchester United um, and he's only 26 I think I think that was a great signing um, so what is going to happen here I know we're getting close to um, championship manager football manager I keep calling it championship manager I'm old school um, football manager FM18 is out I think the beta version comes out next week I'm not 100% sure um, I think it's next week I know we're a few weeks away from the actual release um, but I want to play uh, the the beta version um, I might do like one season on the beta version and post that online um, and I think that comes out next week so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna try and wrap up this season next week the beginning of next week next week where there will be um, five videos again uh, of championship manager I want to try and get this season wrapped up by maybe the first episode so we're obviously we're probably going to win the league here so you don't need to see any more league games um, we're go I'm going to show you the quarter final it depends who we get in the semi-final of the Champions League um, we're, we're, we're already through we won 5-0 in the first leg against Liverpool um, so I've got no hesitation that um, we are going to get through to the semi-final depends who we get in the semi-final I might show you the second leg of that and then maybe do a special or I don't know I'm not 100% sure or maybe we'll just do um, the semi-final of the Champions League in the next episode and then maybe the final and the FA Cup final if we get there um, in the day after so that will take us up to Tuesday and then we've got Wednesday Thursday and I think Friday will be the day that um, FM 18 beta version comes out we're at 70 minutes here we're gonna make a couple of changes let's bring Esteban Rag off let's bring Lewis Cook on because um, he deserves a little bit of a run out we'll take let's bring Lacazette on and I tell you what as well Diamari Gray decent signing he was uh, Esteban Rags come off that's fine we'll make our last change around about now uh, let's bring Gray on let's bring Gray on for Martins let's get him in and here we go last 10 minutes um, I do want to go the whole season undefeated now that I'm this close uh, what is it? This would be the 32nd game. Our goal difference is absolutely phenomenal, by the way. We're actually 89, a plus 89. I don't know how many goals we conceded, but it hasn't been that many either, I think. Um, well, we're going to concede here, I think. But Leno has just conceded his first goal in about five or six games. Um, and... This makes for a little bit of a nervy last 10 minutes here. I know we're 2-1 up. No one marking Rashford as he comes in. And Rashford's just smashed it in on the half volley from six yards out. Um, there was no way that Leno was going to save that one. Last four minutes plus injury time here. Diamari Gray, he could be it. That's a red card. Yeah, he's gone. 
Hugo Mello. We actually almost tried, almost signed him, I think, a few seasons ago or a couple of seasons ago. Can't remember exactly. Um, so this season has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, we want to continue. I think the next season, if we do win the treble, like I've said, this season, uh, we are very, very close to beating Arsene Wenger's record the following season. So I want to get that wrapped up as, as, as quick as possible. It's a penalty to Manchester United here. And they're going to tie things up. And I don't think we win the title if we tie. There it is. There's only two minutes of injury time left. Um, <clears throat> wow. What a turnaround. Um, I can't really do anything. There's, like, there's no point because it's like the last 10 seconds. Uh, uh, there we go. It's all over at Old Trafford. What a turnaround in the last, what, five minutes of the game. Um, all right, we don't win. I don't know whether we actually win the league with a draw. I don't think we do. But we do maintain our undefeated streak. Uh, yeah, we haven't won the title yet. So we don't win the season. We don't win the league yet. Um, but so what? Oh, this makes it more, even more tricky now. So what do I do here? We've got Bournemouth and Leeds. You know what? I'm just going to play. I'm, I'll see you guys for the uh, well, Liverpool game. Okay, here we go for the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. As you can see, I've made a whole lot of changes. Um, I'm actually going to make that change as well. Leno doesn't need to play. Um, since the Manchester United game, the other games have been played and we did end up winning the league. Um, a, t a draw was enough thanks to other results Um elsewhere on that day so we are Premier League champions um, for the third time in five seasons back-to-back -back Premier League champions um, undefeated so far we haven't lost a game in the Premier League in coming up to 70 games now which is absolutely ridiculous um, as you can see I've made a whole lot of changes for today's game we are five nil up from the first leg um now here's my conundrum that i have is that for the rest of the league games which i think there's about four or five games left of the premier league do i just pick a reserve team and or the under 23s or some players that don't get to play um some of the youngsters uh, like Symes, like Benavidez, like Chiwell, uh, Lewis Cook, Diamari Gray, uh, O'Reilly could come in. Um, there's lots of players that I could pick from and risk losing the undefeated season. Um, it's a, I'm in a bit of a conundrum really. I don't know how much I really want that undefeated season, but because we're so close to getting it, I kind of feel like... I have to try and do it and I have to play my strongest team um, we are so far like like I said we I could have done this a long time ago like quite a few games ago where I could rest a few players but in games where I could rest them I kind of didn't and I picked my strongest team um, just through Mo Salah's put Liverpool in the lead here um, I think we, I, I don't know, I, I think I'll look at the games. I know we got Bournemouth next and they're 19th in the Premier League. So I think playing a a, a rested team um, will definitely, definitely be okay with that one. We shouldn't touch wood. Um, we shouldn't lose that game. The Amari Gray's just gone off injured here. Uh, let's bring Martins on, a direct replacement change him to an advanced playmaker on attack and get him going um again it doesn't really matter if we lose this game Jelsa, are you kidding me ah so lacazette is the only one really that can play out there uh yeah he's gonna have to play there and then i'm gonna have to bring on catrone to play as a striker and advance forward 
an injury, then the, an injury to the substitute. So I had to make two, wait, two changes now, yeah. Ugh. Two changes before half time. That's not good. But anyway, we are 1 0 down, uh, but 5 1 up on aggregate. As you can see here, Monaco are absolutely demolishing Manchester City. Um, Manchester United and who were the other team in the semi final? Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich uh, smashed. And in, uh, Man United, no, Man United are through, I can't remember, um, I can't remember, so it looks like it's going to be us, Monaco, Manchester United, and uh, Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. Again, the way Monaco look like they're playing, they've absolutely smashed uh, Man City over two legs, so I don't know whether that's a whether we want Monaco to play Monaco or we want to try and avoid Monaco um, and we don't really want to play uh, Bayern either to be honest so maybe the English team would be the best um, outcome for us in the semi-final maybe I don't even know it's it's, it's a tough one to call isn't it over two legs it's, it's difficult to, to judge um, so yeah as we have won the season, that takes our tally now up to six trophies, um, or six total. We know we go champions. That's an excellent effort by Symes. Symes is our one of our younger Adam Symes, um, one of our youngsters. I think he come through our academy actually. Um, so we've got a few, few players that are coming that are are on the verge of getting in this in this team. <clears throat> excuse me, that have come through our academy ranks. Um, Symes is one of them. We've got a centre-back. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he is ready. Harry Kane's just scored a second goal here for uh, for Liverpool. I hope we don't mess this one up because I've made the chain. I've rested players. We shouldn't lose 5-0 to, to Liverpool, honestly. Really? Oh, I just dropped my book. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, our tally um, for trophies is up to... I'm just checking my book here. I'll write everything down because otherwise I forget. Um, our tally is now, as things stand, six uh, because we've done three Premier Leagues, one Champions League and one Europa League. Obviously, the Champions League, like I've always said from the beginning of this save, um, is counts as double uh, so that would be three Premier Leagues two for the Champions League and one for the Europa League so that's six in total that means we are four trophies away or four tallies away from uh, being better than Wenger and we are still in the Champions League so that could be count as two and we are still in the FA Cup for this season as well um, I always said that this season we can't do it, so this season that's why there hasn't been so many games. Um, let's bring Lewis Cook off. I can't make any other changes. That's going to be it for my changes. We've got 20 minutes here to go. Um, if we could get an away goal, that would be nice, but I really, oh, we could be in trouble here. Liverpool countering attack. Oh, what is Mo Salah doing there? What is he doing? I don't think we played particularly well. We've had a couple of chances. Uh, Symes is one that was smashed off the. I think it was off the crossbar. Stands out. Um, but again, doesn't really matter that we're losing this game because we did so well on the um, in the first. In the first leg um, yeah so we'll see this one out hopefully like I said an away goal would make it a little bit more comfortable we just got a funny feeling that they're gonna they're gonna they've scored another one here I'm gonna have to go to um, let's go to defensive and let's go structured we don't want to see this there's seven minutes to go they've got to score two goals to make things level and force extra time it could be done 
but we've set up shop here so hopefully now there's three minutes we've already played two and a half there's the third minute blow the whistle ref there it is we are in the semi-finals of the champions league again um we have made it to this stage every single season that we've been it in it since i've taken over so yeah that's going to be it for this episode i know it was a pretty long one um but a little bit of catch up uh so uh monday no videos over the weekend monday there will be a brand new uh champ uh, football manager video jelson martin's out for three or four weeks that's not good the amari gray injured as well uh yeah so there will be more championship manager videos on football manager videos on monday uh make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the big thumbs up button as well uh if you liked the content and i will see you guys next time